A big stretch of I-70 is closed from 435 all the way to 470 is shut down in both directions. Crews are working on demolishing three bridges along eastbound I-70. That closure is causing a big headache and having a big impact on traffic in the area too. But the removal of the bridges will have an even longer lasting effect on the people who live nearby. 41 Action News reporter Alyssa Donovan is at Chrysler Avenue. Alyssa, you saw something unusual there today. Yes, we did, Dean. Actually, you know what? Demolition is just finishing up here. We just are seeing the crews finish up this project. And earlier today, we saw something kind of interesting. We saw a ton of gawkers. About a dozen people came around and they were taking pictures of this site as this process was in action. And even though this is a cool site for many, the people who live nearby say it's going to be a big adjustment. All day. People have been stopping by to watch the demolition of the Chrysler Avenue Bridge. It's like someone has just separated the whole city. Oh, it's cool. Just to see no traffic on the highway, you know, and the way they're tearing it down. But the site today is nothing compared to the sound last night. We got no sleep last night. It was just the house shaking, dogs barking. Karen Mosey lives right next to where the bridge used to be. And I normally watch the traffic through uh, my kitchen window. There's been no traffic. The demolition will be finished up by Monday, but the construction of a new bridge is not expected to be completed until December. Mosey says she's concerned for people who used to depend on this bridge. I feel sorry for the people on the other side that have to detour to go all the way around because Chrysler is an avenue to get you from here to Sterling or wherever. This is the main drag here. And while she understands that this is a project that needs to be done, she hopes the following months of building a new bridge will be a little quieter than removing the old one. It's going to be annoying for a while, but it's okay. Yeah. Now, even though the bridges, the new bridges rather, aren't expected to be completed until December, the road closure is much more temporary. IS-70 is expected to reopen Monday morning. Reporting in Independence, Alyssa Donovan, 41 Action News.